How to use a pipe steamer. This piece of equipment is used to steam set acid dyes and silk paints on fabric yardage. It can accommodate up to a 60 inch width of fabric rolled on a tube. A dial in the base reservoir controls the temperature of the water and the two tubes above it come apart to accommodate different widths of fabric. In this view, the upper section of the tube chamber has been removed. A section of pipe is protruding up out of the lower section onto which a piece of fabric could be rolled. A wider fabric would need a longer pipe. Fill the reservoir vase with enough water to completely submerge the heating element inside it. Plug it in, turn up the dial, and replace the tubular sections on top the base reservoir so that the chamber can begin filling with steam. Prepare the fabric for the steaming process. The dye can migrate if the fabric touches itself in the roll inside the steam chamber. For this project, there's a layer of muslin, a layer of newsprint, the painted fabric yardage, another layer of newsprint, and another layer of muslin, all rolled gently, not tightly, onto a tube and placed inside the pipe steamer. Notice the small hole at the base of the domed lid. When steam begins to come out of that hole, you'll know the chamber is ready to put your rolled fabric inside it to steam set your dye. This Guta Resist design on four ply silk with flowable silk paint was steam set in the bullet steamer for an hour. Follow the directions for steam setting on whatever product you use to create your design. This view looks down inside the top section of the steam chamber. The lower set of cross pieces supports the tube on which the fabric is rolled and the curving upper set of cross pieces supports the domed lid. When you're done using the pipe steamer, disassemble the chamber entirely and allow the water in the reservoir to cool. Empty the reservoir and then let all of the parts air dry before you reassemble it. Where can you get this kind of equipment for your studio? In North America, Dharma Trading Company sells the model of pipe steamer depicted in this video, but they also have directions on their website for building your own. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell for notification of new content. Join me every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern for my live studio streams.